Right, I want to take a look at how we can dual boot Windows Vista with Windows 7. Um, you'll see here that I'm in Windows Vista and I want to quickly show you the hard drive setup that I've got here. So I'm going to go down to Start, Control Panel, System and Maintenance and then down with the Administrator Tools uh, if we click on Create and Format our Disk Partitions click Continue, Let's just shut that. Okay, so you'll see here that I have two partitions and they're equal. Um, C is my Vista install and I've, I've named that Vista just purely for ease later on when we're going through the uh, the install process. And I've got a partition over here that's got nothing on it, it's empty, new volume. Now to make things a little bit easier for yourself you can change that new volume to Win7 or whatever um, and you do that just by right clicking properties and then just change the name there. Um, put Win7. Like I say, this will help when we come to installing the uh, the Windows 7. So that's basically how we set up. We're currently running on C. We want to install Windows 7 on E. So this is going to be a bit of a guide. I'm going to cut the video at times, otherwise this is going to go on forever. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. You're going to need a Windows 7 disk. I've got my Windows 7 disk in, so I'm going to go to Computer, and I'm going to double click on the drive, use Account Control, click Continue. Close that. This is going to start the install process from the disk. Okay, so this is the first menu that we see, a couple of options. If you're running Windows Vista, you don't need to check compatibility online because if you're running Vista, you'll run 7 easy enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Install Now. Okay, so Setup's going to start copying the temporary files. This is pretty much like a normal install. Um, the only thing we've got to watch is where we're installing it. We don't want to be installing it over Vista. Okay, so we're now going to go into the setup process. One of the options that we get, we can go online and get the latest installation files and what have you from, uh, from Microsoft. Um, it's recommended, so we'll click that. And now it's just going to go online and just check for installation updates. Okay, so now that it's downloaded any files, we're going to get back into the installation. Okay, license agreement. Ticking the box and next. Okay, this is one of the first areas that we've got to be careful while we're doing this. We do not want to be doing an upgrade. Upgrade will replace the Windows Vista files. So what we want to click on, we want to click on the custom. So we click custom. And it'll take us to the install page. Um, this is going to ask us where we want to install our Windows 7. Now, you'll see that we have Vista and Win7. This is what I was saying earlier. You don't want to be installing on C, the Vista drive. We want to install on E, the Win7. We marked it earlier to make it easier, so we'll select that and we'll click Next. Now we're going to get into the installation. We're going to put the Windows 7 onto that drive, keeping everything away from the Vista drive, and this is going to give us our dual boot. So now we're going to go into a normal install of Windows 7, and I'm going to cut the video here, and we'll come back to it when we've moved on a little bit. Okay, so now that we've installed some of the files, the computer's going to restart. Okay, at this point, just let the computer boot through. So you see that we're going to start booting into Windows 7. Now the installation's going to carry on. And again, we're going to pause the video and come back to this when it's moved on. Okay, so Windows is going to restart for the second time. So we just let this restart. And again, at this menu, let it boot through. And again, we'll be back to the install again. Okay, so we're just coming into the final stages of the install now. We're now going to restart again. Okay, so we're now seeing the Windows Boot Manager, and we'll now get a chance to either select Windows 7 or Windows Vista. We're still doing the install, so we need to hit Enter or let the timer run down on Windows 7. And Windows 7 is going to start up. Okay, so once we get through the major part of the setup and the install, we're going to be asked to input a bit of information, country, um, I'm in the UK, so we'll select UK, and then select next. Okay, put your username in, and we'll click next. Add a password if you want one, for the time being I'm just going to skip this bit. I'm also going to skip the product key, so it just saves me having to blank it out on the video. I'm going to select Use Recommended Settings, and now I'm going to set my date and time zone. So I'll come down. 
to the correct one. Hit next. Computer's location, home network. This is going to apply a few network settings. This can be done afterwards, but it's always easier to do it at the install. Okay, so now that we've put that in, computer's going to restart again. Okay, again, back to the boot manager. And again, we need to select Windows 7, enter. Windows will continue to boot. Okay, so now we're pretty much finished. Windows is just preparing the desktop for us. Okay, and there we go. Windows is now booted up. We are running Windows 7. So if we just go to check our disk management, everything again is pretty much the same on Windows 7. So um, we go back to the create and format our disk partitions. You'll now see that we're actually booting, we've got healthy, we've got boot, page file, crash dump, everything's on there now regarding Windows 7. You'll see that we've now got 59%. This is a virtual machine, It's this is why the hard drives are so small on this. Um, so there we have Windows Vista on C and Windows 7 on E. So that's basically it. If you reboot this machine now, we will be offered the boot manager as we've seen and we'll be able to select either Windows Vista or Windows 7 from the menu. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we've seen we've just been running Windows 7. If we come back down to Windows Vista, this should boot up into Vista. And there we go, we're booting into Windows Vista. Okay, so there we are on Windows Vista. Dual booted with Windows 7. As I say, just a bit of a guide, but if you've got the Windows disk, you won't have any trouble. The only thing to watch is that you don't install Windows 7 onto the wrong drive. Because if you do, you'll wipe your Vista. And also, at the point where it's asking us for an upgrade or a custom, make sure you select custom and then the right drive. And it's as straightforward as that. And I'd like to thank you for watching.